mana arwah boleh simpan rahsia yang sakit tu? Dia tak nak nah, dia tak boleh lah buat those days Dia mesti tak tahu anak-anak dengan wife dia yang sakit dia tu Sedih No, politics He didn't want disruption He didn't want people lobbying for position semua tu He wanted to stabilize Also when you He was diagnosed since 1969 He was not given He was given one and a half years to live But now 1976 He could survive or Nobody knows it Of course it's Nobody knows he would have Chris Vyar or would have passed away he, he, he went to England not to pass away He went to England to, to get medication and treatment When I passed away I was 16 and 17 The interaction tak banyak So he's very busy Dia keluar Lunch and dinner keluar And then overseas trips He worked very hard But He was always there I will report card dia Dia baca yes. Any problem we have We can go to him If there's no problem He thinks everything is fine So kita okay I mean our mother was around And we brothers are very close Stick together I remember masa holiday dan nak pergi holiday dengan dia Always people will follow For what reason? For whatever reason lah, <laughs> dia want to follow <laughs> Pergi pergi Cameron Island, beratur orang kat sana Pergi overseas, ramai orang ikut So I used to resent that because <laughs> Quality time okay. So in terms of uh, uh, quantity, not much But quality as and when necessary, yes Our best time with him was after after dinner. After dinner. Kalau dia tak keluar malam tu kita dinner together. Mm-hmm. And then after dinner in the study room, and then borak lah, uh, discuss things. And then sometimes he's still working. His favorite time dulu dia masa menteri pertahanan tu dia banyak sign certificate for graduating officers or like So kita pass to him the sign another brother would take to the other side okay. that was uh, I mean imagine we were like 5 to 10 years old after lagi mana nak discuss politics kan ni mana nak discuss uh, the thing unity is satu the other two one is on uh, development there's another I think major achievement of pembangunan I think I, you know he was always very um, concerned about the welfare of the people uh, So much has been said about how he went to school, that castle, all that. I don't think that's the point. Lah. I think he, he knew that um, the government must do all he can to uplift the standard of living of the people. So you see all his own programs, Malaysia plan. Anybody can come to the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every day, ada orang. Mostly from Pekan, lah, from his constituency. Oh. Small, small problem. Though. You know, I don't want to eat lembu lah Oh yeah oh. And then he will try and resolve He will see almost everyone Kalau ada masa, he will see them all Ada, ada, ada kursi kat luar bilik, bilik makan mm-hmm. And um, they will come Those days, transportation very difficult kan yeah, It might take the whole day to come mm-hmm. So, he will see them He try and resolve the problem Apa nasihat uh, Arwah pada Dari Datuk macam dari problem itu pesanan yang sampai sekarang I think dia tak payah dia tak perlu say anything kita tahu we knew what he stood for and his principles and we knew that he wanted us to follow the good things about him